Interesting development oh, wow. yesterday at Arkansas as LSU went stumbling oh, in there. There's a good scene. The third quarter, they had a 23-14 lead. Jordan Jefferson throwing to Brandon LaFell. It's 30-14. They're, they're blowing Arkansas. They're going to get this season back on course. Uh, not so fast. The junior Dick brother throws deep. Jarius Wright, 46 yards and a touchdown. Arkansas cuts it to 30-21. If Casey had to come off the bench here. Big stuff. Oh, London Crawford for the touch to Arkansas. Good to 31 to 30. 21 seconds. No way. They miss, miss Bo Bellini, don't they? So LSU, a, a dismal year. They close losing three out of four. Their victims are teams like Appalachian State, oh. North Texas, Auburn, Mississippi State. They rallied Thank to be you, Jason Troy. from Tampa. Will Bob Petrino return to Arkansas next year or jump ship? <laughs> no, they need to get him indicted so he can't leave the state. <laughs> Do you think Arkansas will compete for the SEC West Crown next year? They could come in second place, but Alabama's tough. I mean, you look at what they've done this year. They played 19 freshmen, the Crimson Tide, and, and had an opportunity to play in the national championship if they beat Florida in the SEC championship. I do think Arkansas is getting better. Coach Petrino Trino's done a nice job, and Michael Smith at running back's outstanding, but I think Alabama is a team to beat for a long time in the West. Give us one other team that's on the rise when it comes to recruiting in the SEC. Well, Kevin, we're really excited about Bobby Petrino's second class and his first full class as head coach at Arkansas. This is a, a group that defensively is really making upgrades, particularly on the perimeter and the defensive secondary, having verbal commitments from two players that rank within the top 10 at the cornerback position for us. And with Ryan Mallett having sat out next year, they're gonna be upgraded at quarterback going forward. So I think Arkansas could be a team to contend with in the West for years to come. Bobby Petrino putting his stamp on the program. ESPNU's Tom Luganville, thank you for joining us here on College Football Live. <laughs> All right, Tommy, Jason from Little Rock. Will Ryan Mallett be a successful quarterback in Bobby Petrino's system at Arkansas? I think he will for the simple fact, number one, he's been there for a year. He's been in the meetings, very talented player and skilled player. And again, Bobby, Bobby Trino, heck of a track record on preparing quarterback. Mallett played one year at Michigan, of course, then transferred, had to wait for that one year to pass, and now he's going to get his chance in Arkansas. Now, Bob. All right, Brock, extra points. You ready? Sure. Here we go. Allen in Tennessee. Despite going 5-7, and seven, Petrino managed to reel in a top-20 recruiting class. Do you expect this to become a trend? I do. It, it, it's amazing. If you eliminate that NFL experience for Bobby Petrino and you look at what he's accomplished in college football, you'd have to say, yes, this could absolutely be a trend. He runs a system that's conducive to recruiting playmakers, and now he's in an area that borders Texas, a lot of talent to work with. I do believe he, he can uh, have a lot of success at Arkansas. Our SEC blogger Chris Lowe has the tough test to top that. Chris, things will not be easy for Bobby Petrino in his second season at Arkansas. No, by far the toughest schedule in the league. They go to Ole Miss, to LSU, to Alabama, to Florida, and it all starts with a home game against Georgia that will be the first of 11 straight weeks that the Hawks have to play this year. I like what Ryan Mallett is going to add to this offense. Petrino's as good as it gets when it comes to setting up an offense and coaching quarterbacks. But that schedule and the youth on this team makes it a pretty tough go for the Hogs in 09. Well, here is that schedule. After opening up with Mississippi State, the Razorbacks host Georgia, play at Alabama, then Texas A&M. And then they're hosting Auburn. Road games at Florida, Old Miss, and LSU on this schedule. So Bobby Petrino just looking at this schedule, adding a few gray hairs to his head because it's unbelievable if they can get through this schedule. And we bring back Bob Davey. Uh, in his first year, Bobby Petrino, 5-7 and seven with Arkansas. Very tough year, especially when you see what Houston Nutt did, the former Razorback head coach at Old Miss. Uh, what do you expect from this team uh, in 2009? Well, you bring up a great point about last year. I mean, professionally, personally, that had to be a very tough year on Bobby Petrino. First, he leaves the Atlanta Falcons. He goes to Arkansas. Fair or unfair, took a lot of hits on his character. He comes to Arkansas. They're coming off the Cotton Bowl, but they lose a lot of talent. Derrick McFadden, Felix Jones, they go to 5-7. and seven. And Kevin, you said it. he had to sit back and watch Houston Nutt, the guy he replaced, go to Ole Miss, go 9-4, and four, become the uh, Southeastern Conference Coach of the Year. Trust me, that is personal. But the good news, the momentum switched a little bit, changed in Bobby Petrino's direction late in the season, the last game of the year, when they beat LSU 
at home. That was a huge win for that program. Get things going in the right direction. Well, we know Bobby Petrino is an offensive mind, and now he has Michigan transfer Ryan Mallett, who waited a year to be his quarterback. What can we expect from him under Petrino? You know, I think everyone in the country realizes Bobby Petrino runs a pro-style offense, does a tremendous job with quarterbacks in the passing game. I can't wait to see what he does with Ryan Mallett. Anyone that watched Mallett play as a freshman at Michigan realizes this kid has unbelievable talent. He's about six foot seven. He has as strong as arm as I've ever seen. But keep in mind, Nathan Dick, Casey Dick's younger brother, is going to compete for that position. Uh, during the spring, but I mean Ryan Mallett and Bobby Petrino. I mean that's a match made in heaven right there potentially.